Ooh, welcome back everybody welcome if you're new today we're in the arca series here at bristol uh this is gonna be a crazy race people wrecking everywhere fastest i've ran so far is a 14 886 in my last practice but we'll see if we can get up back to that speed because i did that after like five six laps of running already because this these cars on these uh new tires or cold tires you slide a lot you got to be careful on entrance careful on exit it is a mess so I expect there to be a lot of wrecking in this race, to be fair with it. Try to see if we could run pretty well. I go in kind of middle and try to slide up and kind of have like a diamond effect off the corner. Try not to turn too hard going in or coming off. Try not to smack the wall either or your time won't count. Okay, let's see if we can do anything this second lap. We're in a 15, almost 15 flat and I'm sideways. So that'll be the end of this second lap. That's the problem. I tried sending it a little harder through that one. Didn't quite work out. I'm just gonna finish out the lap so the lap uh, counts says it's done. So everybody um, can advance if they want to. But this track is difficult. Easy to slide going in, easy to slide coming off if you go too hard like that. I turned by uh, steering ratio to 12 to 1 and I literally jacked up the front brake bias all the way just because I'm not I'm not braking too much here And I don't want the car to spin out on me going in so I literally jacked it up as high as it can go So currently we're seventh uh, the further back we are the probably the worst because there's 22 people It's gonna be an interesting race nonetheless. You ran 882 nice good lap But uh, it seems like a really fast field as well And I expect there to be a lot of crashes and there's no caution so it should be a crazy race So I'll pick it up and we're getting ready to go green. Hopefully don't fall too much further back all right, we fell down to 11th, literally mid-pack through the 22 car field. So this is going to be very interesting. And starting on the bottom, I don't really know if it matters which lane you start at at this race because 60 laps, long race, just trying to take care of your car. We do get a fast repair, so make sure you have that checked if you need to go pit later on. This is going to be a nerve-wracking race, I feel like, just because there's going to be cars spinning out everywhere, and I'm just hoping we can avoid it. But if you guys enjoy this kind of racing, hit that like and subscribe if you want to see some more. I'm going to try to get back more into the uh, oval side, do some Arco series here and there. And maybe some like late model, like yeah, the late model tour uh, races every now and then. I like them a lot. And then once NASCAR rolls back around, I might get into some of those races in the new next gen car. Because they'll be updating those cars as new information comes out with them testing the cars and how they run and everything like that because i know they just upped the horsepower to 670 i believe from the 550 they were going to run so that should be interesting and happy new year to everybody it's uh the friday like today's friday new year is happening at midnight hopefully you guys have a nice safe new year's don't blow your hand off like jason pierre paul <laughs> don't do it don't be dumb don't get any extra cost. Look, everybody. Right, so hopefully we can uh there. survive this race <laughs> Last race of 2021. Just make it as hectic as the year has been. <laughs> Basically what we're doing. Hopefully we could uh, start next season off. Or not, next year off, not season. But next year off on a good foot. Do some dirt racing yeah, tomorrow. It's sure challenging. I was having a dental chair two and a half hours yesterday. To have a crown put on. And this morning it's laying in my damn bed. <laughs> I don't even know what he was talking about. I was very confused there. I wasn't, I wasn't able to understand I would say that I things. grind my teeth. <laughs> Let's see how we do with this race. Just got to watch out for people going too hard into these corners in the beginning. I'm going to try to take care of the car the first, like, 5, 10 laps so you can get some heat in the tires. Try not to push it too, too hard, I'd say. Try to just roll into these corners and not turn it too hard. Like I did in my first lap of qualifying. Just going to try to take it easy, go. not overdrive it. Brian, Anybody watching here. the Tulsa shootout, the 600 division, the awesome Kyle Busch is running it. Interesting, no. I don't really watch a lot of races no, besides I NASCAR. Dirt, but I thought I won one of the races. Like, literally on TV, mainly what I watch is NASCAR. I don't really follow dirt that much, but I hear about whenever Kyle Larson does pretty well on a dirt race, because he's my favorite driver, but I see stuff on Facebook and stuff about him all the time, just because he races everything. But hopefully we can... Uh, do pretty well. I expect him to do well next season too. Six got a huge jump there. 
they're already side by side. 14 got moved up. I'm just going to try to take it easy in the beginning. Six cars sideways there. He's pushing it real hard, trying to make some passes here in the beginning. I'm going to try to fall in line here behind the 18, hopefully. Because the bottom's definitely not as fast as the top, in my opinion. At least I'm not that good at making the bottom fast here. Surprised nobody's wrecked yet. At least up here, nobody has. Getting kind of spread out behind me already. People just trying to take care of their stuff. It is a very long race. 60 laps. It's a lot of time here to mess up. These laps are super quick, though, is the only thing. But you have 120 corners to fuck this, ra this race up. Very easy to do. Oh, there's a guy. He's all he's all sideways. They're wrecking. Stay the Just stay, stay the low. Six cars sideways. He's going to come back down. Wrecking, wrecking. Stay low. He clipped him. Guy in the wall up there. Oh, and we're going to get by it all. Nice. Just let off and try to avoid the wrecks. The guy. Come on. Come on. That was big. Because there was like three, four different no people yellow. that wrecked yeah. right there. <laughs> I didn't forget no yellows, it's just don't want to get yeah, slowed up. The track. I don't I know I'm gonna slow up, I don't wanna get in the wreck. Better to slow down, avoid the wreck on a no caution race like this, or even a caution race. I don't know what else I can do. Slow up, don't get in the wreck, keep your car good. The 16 car is pretty far up there on qualifying stuff, so he's probably still going to be quick unless this car is screwed. But it looks like he's going to stay in the outside lane. Yeah, his steering might be a little screwed up. Oh, 20 cars wrecking. Avoided him. Nice. I don't know if that was for a spot or not, to be honest. I wasn't able to look down at the relative quick enough. I feel a little quicker than this 18. But hopefully I can get to his outside. Looks like he's giving it to us. He definitely brakes a little harder than we do going in. Try not to go too hard. Oh, Jesus. He was about to squeeze us in the wall. That was terrifying. Got a really big run there. Should be able to just about clear him there. He's really solid on that bottom, though. But I need to be able to do that whole, like, arc going in and coming off to be fast. If I'm on the outside of somebody nice work, bud. and I just stay right along the wall, I'm scared I'm going to hit the wall off the corner. Very scared about that. But we're in sixth. We're doing pretty well. Gained five spots through this race so far. That's like really the first pass we've made, but just avoiding all the other wrecks. That's key here. But we've had a pretty good year of racing, I would say. The, the beginning of this year started off rough, I remember. Like, I remember running some dirt street stocks. I forgot where it was at. I want to say it was Fairbury. And we just completely got taken out by some lap cars and stuff. So I thought this year was going to be really rough and everything. But that turned around after a month or so and started having some real good dirt races. Really did well in the dirt side, I'd say. I didn't do too, too much on the oval side. But I did a little bit here and there. Got into the late model fix series that they came out with. I think they came out with that this year. But I really enjoy that series because I like short track racing a lot. Did some ARCA racing here and there. I don't think I ever won an ARCA race this season or this year. They're wrecking, oh my God. Jesus, I could not get on the brakes hard enough there. That's rough. I'm not straight away. I'm not straight away, I can't tell. Yeah, which which corner are we in? Here's the 17. Shit. Okay, I need. Uh, I need to go around and get my So you running pit. over me, me I'm a jackass. Okay. Don't turn up the track. I'm trying to stay down here and go get my repair fixed. Because my car is screwed. I'm trying what I could do to avoid that. It's tough to avoid things here. Uh, uncheck that and uncheck that. Yes, you are. I give it to you. And there's no... Oh, God. I have no brakes. Did not know that. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I completely... uh. Serving penalty. What did I... Pen what am I getting a penalty for? I'm confused. I don't know what the hell I'm getting a penalty for. Maybe unsafe pit entrance because I got down low quick off of three? I don't know. That could be the only thing I could think of. Well, that's annoying. I think a lot of people are going to get yeah, that if they try to go down pit road. You went in the corner and jacked my rear tires off the ground. Yeah, we'll go back and see all these wrecked. damn incidents. There's going to be a lot of them in this race. But we're going to go a lot of laps down here, which is unfortunate. 
But I didn't want to get uh, fuel and stuff because that was just going to screw up the pit. Just wanted to get the repair and go, but that's not happening. That guy's front le left tire is screwed. Yeah, let's not speed and have to come back down here. That guy might be serving a penalty. Nope, he's not. Okay. All right, let's get back out here and try to merge safely. That's the leader, and that's second place. Okay. So the leader in second place. Hey, they're, they're just running the bottom. Interesting. Didn't expect that to be fair. Hope my tires aren't too damaged from everything. I tried to, I think I almost locked them up, but I wasn't sure. Definitely locked them up in the pits. Nine cars, cars all jacked up. Don't know what lane he's gonna take. Looks like he's taking the bottom. Should be able to get by him on the out snow, okay. Jesus. I had no clue where he was going. I thought he was gonna stay low, but he came back up. I didn't wanna run over. Clear on the bottom. See if we could run with these leaders a little bit. I wonder why they're running the bottom. Very interesting. I'm not. I, I didn't expect the leaders to be running the bottom like that. I kind of expected them to run the top. Cause it seems like the fast line round, but maybe it's easier to spin up here. And that's why I've had so many problems in my practice. <laughs> Either way, I'll be fine with wherever I finish as long as I can finish this race. Like driving, yeah, I'm laps down at this point, but. Because of that penalty, I would have been a lot less laps down. I'm probably like five, six laps down at this point, which is unfortunate. But these leaders are a little slower on the bottom, it seems like. But maybe they're maybe it saves their tires or something for the long run. I really don't know. Because on the top, I'm kind of turning hard and getting on the gas. I really don't know, to be honest. This uh, two car is very fast. Let him go by. He got in a wreck, obviously, because he is very fast. You passed me on the left, and uh, it says something on the right. I can't see it because it's in red. I'm trying to read his bumper. It says you passed me on the left side, obviously. And then... I don't know what the hell it says on the right. I didn't see it fast enough when he was passing me. But he is very fast as well. I assume he's going to get a lot back going back by the leaders. Wish I wouldn't have gotten in that damn wreck. There were just so many people, and I jacked up my brake bias, so I couldn't stop in time. I was trying to stop a little bit and hit the gap, but I didn't want to spin out as well by jerking the wheel a certain way, one way or the other. You get the squirrels out of here, it's a fun race. Yeah, once you get the uh, heat in the tires and stuff, you can kind of handle the car a little better. The work. That, and then everybody wrecking out. Like, you get the people that wreck out early and then leave. I like leave. this track, I really do, but people don't know how to drive it. I agree with that statement. I'm hoping some more people wreck and I can get some spots back, because 17th is going to suck on my eye rating, but that's all right. I'm not worried about the safety side of it. I'm more worried about the, not really worried, but I'd rather get eye rating than safety. I have a lot of safety to deal with. But that was rough. That was definitely rough. Yeah, they are fast on the bottom. It looks like they're pulling away a little bit now. Probably because they saved their tires running down here, is my guess, or something. I really don't know. It's interesting, because I remember back when I used to run NIS a lot, I would just run the bottom because it was slower and I wasn't very fast here in the cup car and everything. So I would just run the bottom, let everybody go by on the top, and just try to survive the race. I literally would be like a lap or two down at the end of it and still finishing like top five because I didn't kill my car. Yeah, those, those guys are really fast. The first, second place, and then the two car right there is very fast as well. It's so interesting how they're running the bottom, though. It does seem like it grips pretty well down there. I just don't have the speed and practice down here to really be super fast. I'm faster up top, I think. But your tires definitely wear out a ton here. Now, let me see. Is my tire... Yeah, it said my tire wear. Okay. When I went to the pits. Even though I didn't change my tires, it still said what my tire wear was. So 98 front left, 96, 97, 98 on the front right, and the back tires are a little bit worn out. So it's not too bad. Definitely should have been in the top five in this race, probably. Because who is top five right now? Because I don't know where the seven was to me, and I don't know where the 10 was to me. The 12 started behind me. The 19, I have no clue where he was. So I should have probably been around top five, I feel like, in the race. But that's all right. That's Bristol for you. 
You get in a wreck, you're gonna be screwed. You don't get in a wreck, you'll finish really well. So I expected this to happen in this race. Either I was gonna get in a wreck and be laps down. I didn't expect the penalty though. The penalty kind of sucked. But uh, just trying to finish the damn race, the main thing. Get the practice time on the track, get the laps in. But if you guys have ran this this week, tell me if your race has gone as bad or worse, or if it didn't really have anybody wrecking. Because 22 people in this uh, field, I'm pretty sure it just got maxed out because it's only single pit road. They didn't do any pits on the back. The 22, that sounds about maxed out for a lobby at Bristol. For the only the pit road-ish, that kind of things. But... There was a lot of people that registered. I think in like the first like five minutes, there was already like 16 or so people registered. I'm gonna push off the corner if I try to get by him on the low side, 16 from the wall. It looks like he might have blown a tire as well. Please don't come back down the track. No, he didn't blow a tire. Just a weird visual glitch, I guess. He's in the wall again. There is a weird Bristol bounce you can do here, which is annoying as hell when I see people do it. Like you can literally go up, smack the wall, and it'll push your car back down the point straight off the uh, exit. And it won't really damage your front right if you do it right. Or there's some people that literally just ride the wall. But it seems like all the wrecking is out of people at this point. Because you're a lot slower on these tires. Like we're over a second slower than we were in qualifying. 40 laps in, leaders are probably 45, 50, I don't know. How many laps, I'm not five, five laps down, okay. So they're on 46, 47 now. So I'll be finishing on like 55. Cause I won't get lapped again. Right. Ten car just letting us go on the high side. Okay, thank you. He's just probably trying to preserve his car and finish wherever he can. I don't blame him. Yeah, cause I'm back in 17th. Next in front of me is a lap in front of me. And then there's two guys a lap in front of me, and then in front of that is three laps down. So unless uh, more people wreck, I'm kind of screwed. And that penalty gave us a lot more laps, which sucks. I would only have been like two laps down, I think, two, three. But 40 more seconds These is a lot of time. On the hour? Uh, 45 after. 45 after, but every hour, for sure. I know Arca is that way, which is nice. So you can get a lot of these races in if you want to kill your uh, safety rating. Unless you're out front and you, and you know how not to wreck the car. <laughs> then you just have to worry about lap cars at that point. Or really slow wrecked cars. Like somebody wrecks and they don't know how to get out of the way fast enough at all. So it looks like we're probably going to finish 17th. That's okay though. I feel like I had a very fast car. So I'm happy with how I ran in the beginning. But jacking up my brake bias didn't help wreck avoidance by any means. But it helps me driving. I tried to hit that gap Thank that you. opened, but went a little bit too far left, and when I would try to get on the brakes to turn, it wouldn't turn back to the right. That's alright. That happened in Bristol. There was like four cars wrecked in the front stretch. I think it was the front stretch, yeah, because I had to go all the way around. And then... There was just a small gap to try to get through. I think I would have hit the car behind it anyways if I would have gotten through. I think regardless, I was going to be in that wreck because of my brake bias. I wasn't going to be able to slow up fast enough. It would have missed the first few, though, which was nice. It would have missed, like, the first, like, two, three wrecks, which was really great. Like, Bristol is a track where... All, any anybody in the field can finish really well as long as they don't wreck like you could start dead last and just fall off the back of the field for a second in the beginning just to avoid all the wrecks and get by and finish top five pretty easy how's there i'm coming for you bud yeah i see that huh but yeah i we'll want to go back and see these incidents there's gonna be a lot of them 60 lap race at bristol and so many wrecks It'll be interesting to see how a lot of these wrecks started. I think the first one started with that Cheerio car. I think it was a 16. Uh, getting loose off a corner or smacking the corner. corner. Or smacking the front stretch, I'd say. Front or back. One, one thing two. getting you, another one to get around you, right? Yeah. Guess we'll see. This car in front of me, the 15, he's just smacking the wall everywhere at this time. point. 
He's hitting the wall. Kyler, shot. Come on. Go on back. I only got like two laps left, I think. Two, three laps left. I think two more laps because I'm five laps down. But I'm happy with how we ran overall. White flag this time. Yep, white flag this time. Somebody is literally ripping the wall behind me. You can see him in my mirror. He literally just went in that last corner and just riding the wall. I think he's doing it again in that corner. Either that or he has a blown tire. Because that might be a thing in these cars where you just ride the wall and you get yeah, a blown you tire. Yeah, like three more laps. That was fun. We had a shit finish, but that's all right because of my wreck. Who ended up winning it? Try to avoid everybody getting on the brakes now. Who ended up winning nah, the thing? Tired, the one car did. Nice. Fit, he was it super fast. Get nowhere near the leader Dang, spot. he finished 2.1 ahead of second place. Damn, he really saved his tires. He really Good saved win. his tires. And were there only three guys in the lead lap? Yeah, there's only three, three cars job, on, the, on the lead lap. That's crazy. Three people on the lead lap, and she was 12 seconds back. Almost on the lead lap, like almost a lap down, which is nuts. Uh, let's go back to where I wrecked real quick, because I definitely screwed that up really bad. Was it here? No, it was on the front stretch for sure. I nailed them. So I was, you see me coming in, I'm hitting the brakes already really far back here. I missed the six. I think I could roll, and then I tried to go shoot back that way, but it did not turn once I was on the brakes. I tried to turn back to the right right here to get up that. If I would have missed this car, I think I would have missed the 9, or I just would have slammed the 9, one of the two. Either way, I made the barrier for the uh, 18. Where did he finish? He finished in 10th, two laps down. Don't know if he got in a wreck or not. And where did I get my penalty? Like, did I get my penalty there, crossing over the exit line? I don't know. I definitely didn't get it there. My, my thought was I got it here. Like coming down early or something, I have no clue. Or you have to go through both sides. Is that the thing under green? I wouldn't think so. I wouldn't think you have to go both sides. I don't know. My car was destroyed from that. It could not turn the front left. Was the uh, front right that bad too? Oh, Jesus. Okay, I can't move. Thank you. I just want to see the right side. Okay, the right side's fine, really. So it was mainly the left front and his front tires were 76 oh wow my front right was 68 oh my god that's awful he really he saved his tires a lot he was very fast there which i'm not shocked by let's go back see some of these incidents yeah this is the first one i thought i was thinking of curio car up here got sideways hits the hits the wall 20 car really uh, doesn't check up quick enough, but there's really nowhere for him to go at that point either. He's trying to check up quick and it just gets into the back of him. I think the six gets clipped as well by the 20. Yeah, because the 20 trying to push down and the six gets clipped by that. We get by all this stuff. There's going to be a lot of incidents just in one wreck, I think. The 16, the six car gets clipped. There we go. Bye. Oh, he's just still there and the 13 and 8 come wrecking into him. This, the camera on this track is awful. 22. Trying to get by the 6. Just scraping the wall. Ugh. Excuse me. 9 car. Blinking. Okay, so that's going to be some incidents too. Oh yeah, that's where I scraped the wall. I thought, I, I thought we were going to get pinched into the wall. It was super close, but I checked up and then I scraped the wall a little bit. Nine, uh, 17 just runs over the 9 going into the corner. Don't know what happened there because the is there is the blimp view better here? I don't know. I'm trying to figure things out with the camera. What's a good camera here? TV3? TV2? TV1's really close. TV3 might be decent uh, for it. I think this is where I wrecked into everybody. Yeah. Just couldn't stop quick enough because my brake bias being jacked up. It seems like everybody else behind that pretty much got by. They slowed up enough. 17 turning around, 8 gets into him, because they're all turning around. Oh, he spins out in the middle of the field. Yikes. You can't just slam the gas when you're turning around. 21 in the wall, 2 car in the wall. I think his tires are destroyed or something. Like, his car is destroyed at that point. So I think he got hit by the 17. That's what happened to the 2 car. 18 into the wall there. I don't know what car that is. Scared him up, it looks like. It might have been the 7. 15 getting by the 19. 19 scrapes the wall barely, it looks like. Oh, I know something we could do, actually. I think this helps that, doesn't it? 
A little bit? Maybe. No. Okay. I thought it did. I uh, don't know what that one was. Probably somebody scraping the wall. I didn't look bad. 16 into the wall on the entrance of turn one and going into turn one as well. I don't think we had any more incidents the rest of the race. After that, 10 car into the wall. So easy to slide up when you're pushing so hard into these corners on the high side. Because naturally your car wants to go up to the wall and do the uh, diamond effect coming off. 15 into the wall off the corner. 22 going to hit the wall off the corner too. Yeah, I could kind of tell from his angle of his corner. I think that was the car that was just riding the wall the last lap. He's on lap 42, but what, how many laps down was he? He was only four laps down, so he was actually in front of us, so never mind. I thought that was like the end of the race, the guy that was riding the wall. I have no clue who that was, but we'll probably see it. 15 into the wall, so easy to do, and that could easily hurt your steering at this track. That guy blinks, that's that incident. 10 car into the wall in turn one. No, I don't know what the incident was there. Maybe his car bottomed out or something. I don't know, something weird. 18. Don't know what that incident was either. 21 in the wall, off the corner. He's just, this is where he was riding the wall. It was him. Okay, well, I thought it was a black car behind me. And you can see his front right is not turning. That is what was happening with that guy. His front right was gone. Because you could see his uh, car definitely was not turning anymore. Because that corner... Let's just see if his car like just takes a hard right or something. He hits the wall there, and then going into this corner, he goes low. It just doesn't turn anymore. Or he just stays in the gas and does it to himself. But you can see his front right's not turning anymore, not rolling at all. So that makes sense. 17, crosses the line, gets on the brakes, probably spins out or gets into somebody or somebody gets into him. No, I don't know. And this is just after the race, it looks like. Everybody trying to finish up. There's probably going to be a bunch of people that just, like, get into each other slowing up, I imagine. Nope, only a couple. Okay. But uh, we don't finish very well. Had a pretty good uh, record points there in the beginning, I'd say. Because, like, it took a few laps, I think, for Hell to break loose. Yeah, Cheerios car is still up there. I think that's where the first wreck was. Yeah. On lap four, it took. So we, we avoided it pretty well, I would say, because the 16 gets sideways, that wreck starts up there, we just go super low, try to get out of the way. Six, t six is still wrecking, didn't know which way he was going to go, and then he got spun back up because he hit the 14 there. So we got through that one, and then I think there was one other one, wasn't there? Don't know what happened with them, they might have been coming out of pit road from earlier. So there's either one more wreck... I thought there was we get by the 16 either we got by one more wreck and i think this is where i was trying to get around the 18 he almost squeezed us in the wall that was scary he, he gave us room i just thought he was coming up still because he turned back down on the exit we had a really good run there got by him i thought i was a little bit quicker than him just my brake bias killed me when this wreck came up Break by absolutely killed me. Yeah, I don't think there was any more wrecks. I thought there was multiple that we got by, but it was just like basically one big wreck. But what started the uh, crash too? I think that's where the 9 and the 17 were together. Oh, they already had their wreck, I think, and maybe the 9 was trying to get the 17 back or something, it looked like. But he tries to pull up here. I don't know if he tried to clip the 17 and wreck them. But where did this wreck start? I know I know the 6 was in it. I forgot what happened already. What did happen? Oh yeah, right there. That's kind of what started it. 20 going low on the 6. 6 goes to block. Gets uh, hit. They both keep it straight there. But the 9 just gets into the back of the 6 at that point. And then all hell broke loose. I didn't get through clean enough. Nailed the 17. Everybody else got by pretty clean it looks like. Until the 17 tries to do a U-turn, hits the gas, and gets nailed into the 2, which is unfortunate for the 2. But uh, it is what it is. That's Bristol for you. Trying to Me trying to get pit road. Uh, if I wouldn't have gotten that penalty, probably could have finished around top 10-ish. It would have been close around there, I feel like. But it was a lot of fun overall. I would recommend racing this. It might be very frustrating, but it is a lot of fun, so... Uh, let's go see what we end up getting out of the results. Probably going to lose a decent amount of I rating because we're car number 5, finishing 17th, and there's a lot of lower numbers up here. Yeah, I had no brakes going in the pit road either. So, either way, a lot of fun. 
not really that disappointed in the result because I kind of figured something like that would happen at Bristol. Just disappointed in the serving the penalty thing because that didn't make any sense. But let's go see what we get out of the results. All right, results in strength of field 2700 is pretty good strength of field overall. Five different splits. A ton of people registered for just over 100 at that point doing the math. Uh, he gained a lot of safety. Nice. The number one car. He was at like a little over 4,500. It's pretty good. Where did we finish at? 17th. Lost 75. That hurts a lot. Don't have a lot of uh, gaining back uh, ability in oval. I'm usually a lower car number like five or something like that other than on dirt. Usually dirt I'm like top two, three if at the worst. So losing 75 here really sucks because I don't have as high of I rating. We dropped up below 3,700, but that's all right. Lost a little bit of safety from the 4X, but it's not too bad. I think I had lost a little bit because of the qualifying as well. I had a 2X, I believe. Yeah, I had a 2X from spinning in qualifying as well. Dang, he was rookie division? Interesting. So he really just started or something and worked his way up quick to get in the top split. So that's good for him. What is his I rating now? The 20 car, where did he finish? Oh, geez, he finished way down here. Almost uh, 2,000, really. For being rookie class and being almost 2K I rating, that's really good. Really good, actually. So that was a fun race overall. Uh, how many incidents were there in the race? Top, what, six had no incidents. Seventh had four, but I think he just stayed out because he didn't get two damage, probably. He started in 17th. Uh, eighth and ninth had no incidents. The 18 was just working his way as wherever he could. He finished, uh, what, ninth, started 10th. So yeah, he started right on the outside in front of us because I started 11th. And he just worked his way around, didn't get any incidents, and you could finish pretty well as long as you do that. You just have to keep up a little bit of pace. After that, literally everybody had incidents besides the guy who didn't race. So that makes a lot of sense. The 20 had 10x. That hurts a lot for safety. But uh, overall, fast uh, race. It was a lot of fun. 60 laps, really fun. Uh, it takes a long time. I actually had a faster lap than the top guys. The top guy at least not the second place but uh not able to keep up that pace because i destroy my tires so it's very interesting seeing those top two run the bottom i wonder if they were doing that the entire race to save their tires because maybe the bottom saves your front right a little bit more because i was running that outside just trying to book it around and you could see how much it destroyed my tires i think my front right was like 68 and the top guy his was like 76 or something like that so that would definitely make a big difference and i think second place kind of burnt up his stuff at the end because uh he fell off two seconds to the leader when when we were coming out of pits like halfway through the race he was right on him so saving your tires definitely makes a big difference but uh i would recommend going to this race just try to avoid all the wrecks as much as you can if you get in a wreck try to get into the pits without having a penalty i don't know why i had a penalty it might have because might have had to go through both lanes i don't think so though but uh, if you guys know why I had a penalty, please let me know. Because I didn't see on the screen why I had why I was serving a penalty either. So uh, just let me know if you guys figure it out. And I don't. I have no clue. So appreciate you guys for watching as always. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the race. Uh, let me know if you guys raced this like I said earlier in the race. Hope you guys have a great new year. And I will see you guys in the next one.